Gronk. Any guesses <laughs> based on that? Uh, I'm going to go with Joe Flacco. <laughs> No. Based on the spikes, this oh-so-famous Gronk spike. Oh, uh, who's the owner of the New York uh, Knicks again? <laughs> oh, Tequila Spikes. Then. Tequila Spikes, Ozzy! Right, Tequila Spikes, what's up, brother? What is happening? What's going on, Gronk? How you doing, my man? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Can we hear okay, you? Okay, we're back. We're back. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're back. back. You don't fumble like that when you play football, man. You always make a tackle. <laughs> yeah. I know it. It, it, it. it reminds me of uh, this one time that you led the league, the first tight end ever to lead the league in touchdown receptions with 17, man. So first time ever, man. So I guess it's the first time fumble that I had with the earpiece. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes hey, sense. Adams, what's up? Takio, it's so good to see you. Uh, you know, lying back in 15 seasons in the NFL, all pro, two-time pro bowler, great. One of the most intimidating players in all of NFL history. Gronk has mentioned that you're one of his all-time favorite players, the Gronk Spike, all of that. Gronk, what did you admire so much about Spike's game? Uh, just the way that you play, man. You were full out every single play, and you just represented the linebacker position just the way that you looked as well. I mean, you're Jack Diesel. Your arms are just popping out of your <laughs> freaking sleeves every single game. And also, you showed no mercy every time you hit that hole. It's not like you hit the hole and backed away from the linebacker at all and had a soft tackle. You always laid the truck stick every single time. And that's what that's why everyone admired you as a linebacker and just loved the way that you played and the love the way that you looked out there out on the field as well, man. Man, I appreciate that. I took pride into that. I, I give a lot of credit to uh, Brian Dawkins got me on this program. Every Friday, we used to do special curls Friday. So he was like, Spikes, if you don't get in the weight room and you got to get the curls popping for Sunday, it starts on Friday. So and then just a part of the game, man. I, you know, you don't see too many linebackers who can play coverage well and then also come downhill. I took pride in it playing three decades in the NFL. So for me, it was more so like, I, right, even if we don't win the game, this opposing team is going to come back in on Monday morning and say, God, damn, we had to deal with this dude named Spike. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that same workout program, Takio, every Friday. I'm just I can like, tell. Oh, I can see it. Hey, look at you. Can you please share what those curls were? Because I actually got a great workout in before this. I did three sets of 10 on the curls, but I want the Brian Dawkins and Takio Spikes program of curls because you that's what made you guys, you know, the type of players that you were because your biceps, both of you guys, Brian Dawkins and yourself and your mentality going out on that field was just vicious. So what were the curls that you guys were doing? Come on, share the sauce. So we would do, it would be six sets. And so we would start out with 60 reps. Then the fifth set would be, well, not the fifth set. The second set would be 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. But while we were doing it, we wouldn't go no heavier than 40 pounds. We would start at 40 pounds and then work our way down. And so that's kind of like how it started. Then we finish it off. You got to have the triceps. The triceps make make it look like a horse kick you in the back of the arm. So <laughs> oh that God. makes it complete. <laughs> All right. So you guys were running the rack. That's what it's called. You just run the rack from the 40s down, baby. And you just keep going until failure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We keep going. And chances are you probably wouldn't be able to finish in the end. But Dalt would make sure he'd be in your ear. And he's like, come on now. Come on, God. You know, he ain't cursing. Dog never curse. He's like, come on, God, dog it. Come on, God, dog it. <laughs> Dawkins is always just talking to that ball. Takio, the two of you actually crossed paths once in your NFL career. Do you, remember, do you remember this? It was back in 2011. Gronk, second year in the league. You were at the Chargers. What do you remember about this matchup? Uh, this matchup was... Look at you knocking that ball away. See, see, that's when Grunk had just came. I, Grunk, that's prop. That was your second year in the league, and listen, he he was a big target, and we have never seen nobody to be as big as Grunk. Grunk did a great job of bodying players, especially linebackers, and then being able to go up and make contested catches. 
So to be able to get a pass break up early in the game, it was like, all right, I'm on the right track right now. We got to shut down Grump. I don't think we won that game, though, but that's another story. <laughs> no, I remember that game. I still had two touchdowns, baby, and Tequila. You were just my hero growing up. I couldn't catch that ball on my hero, man. I needed, you know, I wanted you to keep looking good, man. So I, I couldn't do that to you. So that's why I dropped that one right there. <laughs> hey, what hey, what you think uh, Belichick would say about that now if you would have told him that mm. on that Monday coming back in the meeting room? He'd be like, uh, you got you to grab that, Grant. You got to grab that. I don't care who it is. You got to grab that. You got to bring that in. <laughs> I, I, I got a story for you, though. So this goes back to your days of going to Williamsville High School. And it was, I was in the locker room. You don't, I don't think I ever told you this. We were in the locker room. London Fletcher had a paper, myself, London Fletcher, lawyer Malloy, and they had this article in there about this man child. And they were like, look, man, this dude, he is big. Look at him. And so I turned to the paper, and I remember it was you. They were highlighting you. This was back before social media, of course, and then also. But it was more so just talking about what's coming down the pipeline mm. in athletic sports coming up in the early high school years. So I thought that was cool to be able to see you then go on to Arizona and then also make your mark in the league, man. So a lot of respect for you, Grump. I appreciate that, man. And, uh, man, that's incredible that you were my hero growing up. That just shows how big of a legend you were and how many years you played, that you saw me in high school. You were my Crazy. guy. I love watching you. And then we faced off versus each other. So much love, my man. I got to come out on your podcast soon and talk yes, about that. Yes, it's called Behind the Mask, guys. Check it out. Takiyo, thank you for stopping by. You're both legends. And I just, you, you want to hear more from, I mean, takiyo has got his hosting chops, asking about Bill Belichick. Like, I don't even have to be here, Takiyo. Great to see you. Sending you all the love uh, for a beautiful 2024. And I'll see you guys another time. Gronk, see you next week. Yes, thank you guys. Absolutely. Thank you.